breakfast in Indonesia. Hope you're having a great day. I am at Abnormal Warrel, where the entire menu is in Indonesia. So, you made a guess, this is what we've got for breakfast. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a marvellous day. Now today, we are on an Instagram hunt. I do have an Instagram account, and if you've checked it out, it's Travel With Simon. Go and have a look at it, let me know what you think. But, I'm on a special Instagram hunt today, because it is no secret that Jakarta, where I am at the moment, is not a pedestrian friendly city, in many ways. The pavements are, not that even, you have to watch your feet on them and I found a few holes that I would not want to drop down. Uh, but mainly it's the traffic. Jakarta has a huge traffic problem. There are bikes, cars everywhere. So crossing the road is a major issue. And I tell you, that even if you go to a pedestrian crossing, they don't have ones with lights and nobody seems to stop at traffic lights so they're not going to help you. But when you get to a zebra crossing, Nobody stops for it. You can stand there, you will wait all day. Nobody will stop at a zebra crossing. You have to walk across. And trust me, even when you're walking across, you just wait for a gap in the traffic, because that's the best you can get. You're not gonna get no traffic. You wait for a gap in the traffic, and you're gonna weave your way between the cars and bikes as you cross the road. Now, some will slow, some will swerve, but boy, it is a life-affirming moment when you get to the other side and you're in one piece. <laughs> but it's part of Jakarta's charm. Anyway, there is in some places around the city, apparently there's 300 pedestrian bridges across roads around the city. There's never been one where I've needed to cross the road. Of course, there never is, is there? But, but, after a lot of complaints from the locals that a lot of these bridges are unsafe to walk down, they've not been maintained, they're rusting, the city administration have decided to revamp the bridges of Jakarta but with an extra twist. They have decided to try and revamp each bridge one at a time in these pedestrian bridges to make them Instagram hotspots to attract people to actually come and enjoy, attract them to walking over the road, not, not jaywalking, to be safe, but also to have something to photograph. This is their plan. So, so far, they have upgraded three bridges that I've found out on the news here into Instagrammable places. Now this is what they said, we will make all pedestrian bridges Instagrammable so that people will feel comfortable. Oh, sounds like a great idea, I love it. But if they're Instagrammable, surely they're YouTubeable as well? Or maybe a combination of the two. Anyway, my plan for the day is for you and I to go and see how Instagrammable they have made these bridges. After my grab ride, I have arrived at the first bridge, according to my navigation and my map. I don't think this is it. I hope it's not it, because I'm fairly sure this is not what Indonesians would class as Instagrammable. Huh. So, I'm going to take a walk down this way. This is a Duku Atas, which I'm fairly sure is one of them. There's a Duku Atas station. I'll walk up, but this doesn't, this just looks like an ordinary, but let me see. That bit over there, I think. Okay, I've spotted it. 
This is over the main road, but over there, I can see that hexagonal pattern that I saw in the pictures. That's it. There. Let's work out how to get there. One goes to the bus station, maybe it goes up again. Let's go this way and find out. Well, it makes sense it's not over the main road. I mean, there's a perfectly good bridge over the main road. It's really noisy and hectic. And then I think I see the actual Instagram bridge over that side, for which I have to go down this way, back that way, and across that way to find it. Whew. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get to the bridge over there. Where are we? Uh, the bridge. Uh, the Honeycomb Bridge. The one that goes this way, the pedestrian bridge. No. How do I? Yes. This way yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this was not the way. This is the way into the bus station where you have to buy a ticket. So I have to go back up again and work out how to get over there. Well, I found my way underneath the bridge. And um, I don't know if it's lit up at night, but from this angle, it doesn't look overly spectacular. Anyway, I will Instagram it from here, take some shots, post them, you let me know what you think. Then we're gonna go up the ramp for the next stage. Ironic, I now have to cross the road to get to the pedestrian bridge to take my Instagram photograph over the crossing. And made it. Now, onto the pedestrian bridge. Oh no, that goes into the station. Hold on. So how on earth do I get up there? Okay, so it looks like to actually go onto the bridge, you have to buy a bus ticket to go up there. Uh, so we're not gonna do that. That doesn't look that exciting from the inside, outside. How very weird. Okay, so if you don't buy a bus ticket, you can't use the walkway to cross to the other side, as far as I can see which seems a little bizarre. So, I'd have to say, give that one a bit of an Instagram fail in terms that it's difficult to get to and you can't get on the bridge without buying a bus ticket or train ticket. So, uh, let's go and find the next one. Thank you. One grab drive later, and now I am definitely one of the bridges. Well, it is quite an interesting design. The curve, the squares of the bridge slowly turning around, giving it quite an interesting perspective. However, I did manage to come at a busy time of day. It's connecting two bus stations. So uh, rush hour is not a good time to come here. And there is still a few people trying to take photographs, not just me. Hi. Uh, you guys here? Hi, guys. Hi. Um, <laughs> But, so I say, it is quite a good Instagram shot, but the best shots apparently are after dark because it's lit up and a bit of a light show on the bridge. 
So let's wait for that and show you that. <laughs> 